Hello everybody, this is Chase again, and today I would like to show you how to set up your email account on your Braille Plus. I'm not actually going to show you how to use the email program, but I'll show you how you can get your account set up and start to send and receive email. I already have my Braille Plus on and Wi-Fi turned on so that I can start sending and receiving email, so all I need to do is open the email program. I'm going to do this by pressing 4. I'm in the Applications menu, so I'm going to press 4 to get into the Internet menu. Web browser. Web browser is the first option that we want to email, so I'll press 2. But you could arrow to email. Email is now opening. Inbox. And we hear the list of messages in my inbox. I have deleted my email account on the Braille Plus, so if I, would, if I were to do a send and receive now, it would not be able to get any of my email. I'm going to go to the menu. Email menu. Receive. You could arrow down to 11 accounts, or you could just type 11 to get into the accounts area. One new account. And we have new account, or if we down arrow, One there is nothing. Account. It just beeps. So this means that we don't have any accounts set up. So I'm going to press select on new account. Account name. Black. And now it's asking for the account name. This has nothing to do with your server. This is just what the Braille Plus will call your account. I'm going to call it Gmail because that's where I have my email through. So I'm going to type Gmail. Mail. And using the Braille keyboard, I pressed a C chord to read that current line. And you can set that to whatever you like home email or just email or whatever you like. I'm going to down arrow. Account is default. Yes. This is my default email account. But I, ha I have several, so if I was going to set up another one that's not the default, I'm going to choose no. You choose no by pressing select, oh. but I want it to be yes, so I'll press select again. Yes. Down arrow again. Real name. Real name, you can type in grade 2 here. I'm going to type capital sign C-H-A-S-E, capital C-R-I-S-P-I-N, and that's correct. And I typed in grade 2, but when it sends, it'll just look normal. I'm going to down arrow, and the reason it needs your real name is because that's what that's what's going to show when you send somebody an email. I'm going to down arrow. Email address computer braille required blank. I'm going to type my email address. Down arrow. Incoming mail server computer braille required blank. It's asking for my incoming mail server. Now you'll need to look at your email account, or if you have your email through an internet service provider, ISP, contact them to know what these details are. But if you have Gmail, you can use these instructions. For Gmail, it is pop, P-O-P, dot, gmail, dot, com. Gmail uses a secure pop3 port that makes sure your email is secure. So to tell the Braille Plus that we're going to be using a different port than the default, we're going to put a colon after the pop.gmail.com and a colon, we're t we have to type in computer braille here. So a colon is dots one, five, six. And then, then I'm going to type nine, nine, five, because we're using port number 995. You don't really need to know what this means necessarily. All this is allowing you to do is have very secure email. I'm going to read the line. Pop.mail.com colon 995. And that is correct. So I'm going to down arrow. Incoming mail server type. Pop 3, 102. Use left and, and right to select. It is a Pop 3 server, but we need to choose the next option. So I'm going to press the right arrow. Secure Pop 3, 202. To secure Pop 3. And that's the second and last option. And that's what we want, so I'm going to down arrow. Leave messages on server, yes. And this is asking you if you want to leave messages on the server. I don't want to leave messages on the server. What this would mean is that the Braille Plus gets your email but leaves it on your server so that you could go on on your computer, for example, and you would still be able to download all your email. I read almost all of my email on the Braille Plus, so I prefer to have it take the email off the server. So I'm going to press select to change this to no. Oh. I'm now going to down arrow. Incoming username. Computer Braille required blank. Your username is always part, at least part of your email address. For Gmail, it is your entire email address, your username is. So I'm going to type my email address again. Oh. 
I'm going to down arrow. And you notice all these fields require computer braille because a lot of these have punctuation and such in them and things like that. Now this is asking for your incoming password, but this is just asking for your password for your email account. So I'm going to type mine. And I got the right password, I think. I'm going to check to see how many characters this is. 16 characters. 16 characters long. I've just read the line again with C chord or C with the space bar. That's correct. I'm now going to down arrow. Outgoing mail server. Computer braille required blank. Now it's asking for the outgoing mail server, which is the mail server that allows you to send email. This is usually beginning with SMTP dot something. Again, you'll need to check with whoever hosts your email to, for these settings, but for Gmail, it's SMTP dot gmail dot com colon five eight seven smtp dot mail dot com colon five hundred eighty seven and again the five eighty seven is the secure port tells the braille plus to get your email from a different port you don't really need to worry about this as long as it's typed correctly i'm now going to down arrow outgoing mail server type smtp one of three we have three choices here which will depend on which type of email you have SMTP is the normal and least secure. I'm going to right arrow SMTP with TLS, two or three. to SMTP with TLS. You, but if you did need so, you could go to the right again to SMTP over SSL, three or three. SMTP over SSL, which is the most secure. With Gmail, you can use either SSL or TLS. I'm used to using TLS, so I'm going to go back to TLS. SMTP with TLS, two or three. I'm now going to down arrow one final time. Outgoing authentication. Does not require authentication. One of three. To Does outgoing to select. Out authentication. I'm going to right arrow. Requires authentication. Two of three. To, to, that's the second of the three options. There is a third option which is uh, allows you to enter a separate username and password for authentication, but I'm not going to need that with Gmail, so I'm going to leave this at requires authentication. This is all the settings to set up an email account, so I'm going to press OK to set up the account. Account saved. Inbox Redmond. Bar book share update. And we're placed Redmond. back in my inbox. Now I'm going to press the menu key email again. Menu. One send and, receive. and the first option is send and receive. And I'm going I want to send and receive all my emails. I'm going to press select on send and receive. Sending and receiving mail. And I press control to make it stop talking. Otherwise, it would just read my inbox again. Now it's connecting to the POP server and retrieving all my email. If I would have email that needed to be sent, it would do that. To see the status of the send and receive, we can tap status twice. Email receiving message 507. And it's receiving message 507 that I have. And those clicking the dit dit noise means it was working and the chime at the end means it's complete. I'll down arrow to see if I have any new email. School Fusion Not Blair Middle School. One upcoming event. Two announcements. Newswire Accessible World Present Same Bank with a book. And you just up and down arrow to read your messages. 11, February 8, 2011, 4.55 p.m. 11 of 11. That is all you'll need to get started with the email program, though I'll be back soon to show you more advanced features of the email program. If, if you are having trouble navigating the YouTube site, I've also put a list of all of the YouTube videos we've done with direct links to the videos that you can click on for a more accessible way to play these videos. And that link is at blindmobiletech.com.